Hi everybody, welcome back to the Feynman Technique. Um, today we won't be doing Feynman integration. Instead, we will be solving this integral that I solved using Feynman integration. Um, uh, I think this was maybe the fourth or fifth video I did on this channel way, way back. I used Feynman integration to solve it. But um, I actually came up with a solution that does not involve Feynman integration or uh, complex analysis or anything like that. We will be using uh, triple integrals to solve this. But anyway, uh, here we go. So this is the first thing we need to recognize. Uh, that this is true. If we take the integral from 0 to a of x to the s ds, we get uh, x to the a minus 1 over natural log x. Um, that's the, the process there is, is laid out for you. Just take the antiderivative, evaluate it at the bounds, and uh, combine them, and you get x to the a minus 1 natural log x. Okay, well, that means that x squared minus 1, just replacing our a with a 2, that means x squared minus 1 over natural log x is the integral from 0 to 2 of x to the s ds, but it's also equal to the integral from 0 to 2 of x to the t dt. Um, so we can express x squared minus 1 over natural log x squared as the product of those two integrals, um, which we can bring to get together as a double integral, like this. All right, so now we can replace that x squared minus 1 over natural log x all squared in our original integral with this double integral giving us a triple integral. Now, um, x to the s plus t is, you can evaluate this with respect to any one of these variables over any one of these um, intervals. So we can rearrange this however we want, as long as we, um, you know, integrate over the correct bounds, you know, with respect to the, the variable. But we're going to uh, rearrange it like this. We will um, bring our, we will let our dx be the, we will let x be the first thing we integrate with respect to. Um, therefore, we change the inner integral to the interval 0 to 1. But these two things are equivalent. All right, so evaluating that inner integral, the integral from 0 to 1 of x to the s plus t dx is easy. That's just going to be 1 over s plus t plus 1. So our integral now becomes this. Um, and integrating 1 over s plus t plus 1 ds from 0 to 2 is pretty trivial. And we get this. Um, we just get that it's going to be equal to the natural log of t plus 3 minus the natural log of t plus 1. That's what that inner integral evaluates to. So we replace it. So it's just the integral from 0 to 2 of this bunch of junk. And uh, that's not trivial. I mean, it's not easy to evaluate, but it's it just uses um, standard techniques you'd learn in the Calculus 1 course, specifically integration by parts. So I'm not going to go over the process of how to solve that. It evaluates to 5 natural log 5 minus 6 natural log 3. Um, go ahead and do that integral out if you'd like. Um, it's it's involved, but like I said, it, it, you can do it using uh, standard calculus techniques, so I'm not going to show the process. Any Anybody watching this channel could do that and verify my answer there. So, in the end, we get this, that the integral from 0 to 1 of x squared minus 1 over natural log x all squared, dx is equal to 5 natural log 5 minus 6 natural log 3. All right, guys, that's it. Hope you enjoyed that. We'll see you next time.